The CDC has an excellent present for Michelle Obama's Let's Move campaign during the program's fourth anniversary, a new report that says childhood obesity is declining for younger kids by a lot. The New York Times calls the decline stunning, and here's why. For children ages 2 to 5, the rate of obesity has dropped from 14% in 2004 to about 8% in 2012. That's a drop of 43% in childhood obesity. This is important because children between ages 3 and 5 are five times more likely to be overweight than adults. Still, one in three children of all ages are considered overweight. And for other age groups, the results of the study aren't necessarily as encouraging. The study showed obesity in children from 6 to 11 years old dropped slightly from 18.8 to 17.7 percent. And overall, the rate in children up to 19 years old actually rose very slightly. During the same time, obesity in adults decreased almost three percentage points. So basically, the good news of this report does not outweigh the lasting concern. David Ludwig of Boston Children's Hospital told USA Today this generation of children could be the first ever to live shorter lives than their parents. The study gave some of the possible reasons for the decline in young children, that they're drinking less soda and sugary drinks, that mothers are breastfeeding more, and the recent focus on nutritional education programs. Which, of course, brings us back to the First Lady. Michelle Obama's Let's Move campaign is focused on teaching kids the importance of physical activity and proper nutrition. She's worked with celebrities like Elmo, Will Ferrell, Jimmy Fallon, and even Beyonce, and has tried to bring focus to nutrition policy, especially in schools. On the same day the study was released, Flotus announced she will be working to remove all junk food and sugary drinks from schools beginning this fall. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs.